Good morning, everyone. My name is Calvin Chip Jackson, and I am a member of Richmond County Council, and I chair the Economic Development Committee of Richmond County Council, and I'd like to welcome you all here this morning. This is a very exciting day, and I believe that in years to come, we'll look back on today, in my opinion, as a milestone in terms of a shift in the direction of our city, our county, and our business partners, develop developers and others, in our community in terms of moving us forward in a significant way. So I want to thank each of you for being here and for your, and for your presence. About 13 years ago, uh, we had a tax law that was passed, and it probably had some unintended consequences that we are still talking about today. And as a result of that, a few years after that, Richmond County Council decided to create an Office of Economic Development very specifically to address the issues and the problems preventing the kind of economic growth and development in our county that we all expected. I'm so excited to I want to introduce our uh, Deputy Director of our Office of Economic Development, Ms. Tiffany Harrison, who's here, and, and to acknowledge the pres the ab in his absence Mr. Jeff Rubel, who's the director of that office. Tiffany and Jeff work tirelessly with the county council and with our economic development committee over the years to make sure that those things which have been seen as impediments to the kind of growth and development in our community were being eliminated. And that the decision that people, decisions that people, businesses were making to literally move right across the river would be things that they would no longer decide upon because they would recognize the opportunity to be able to dwell and operate successfully in our very own county. And so our goal has been to create a system that no longer stifles growth and development, but encourages opportunities for real estate and commercial development within the confines of the city of Columbia, as well as our county. And so with that, I am happy to be able to make you aware today that the Economic Development Committee, along with County Council, in partnership with the city, has spent the last year working on such a policy, policy that will ensure, that's designed to ensure that those economic barriers that I referenced a moment ago will be removed and eliminated, and especially for the kind of economic growth and development that we want to see happen, those development opportunities that are $30 million or more, and so that we are allowing them the kind of incentives that will motivate them and inspire them to build, dwell, and operate right here in Richmond County. In my opinion, the result of this effort will not only be measured by the amount of growth or real estate development that we experience, but it also must be measured by those new businesses and apartments and homes and contractors and office spaces that are employing citizens of Richmond County all of the citizens of Richmond County who have an opportunity to be a part of that makeup. Today is a culmination of a lot of hard work by the Economic Development Committee of Richmond County Council and the City Council over the past year. Some felt that we probably should have done this faster or sooner, but the answer from the committee that I chair was that we wanted to make sure, not that we were worried about pace or haste, but that we were worried about equity and fairness. And not only that, but that we had a policy that in fact would allow not only those businesses that are ready to go now to be approved and incentivized to do work here, but that we had a policy that would be sound for those businesses who, who not yet even applied and some who may not have yet even been established in the years to come. So as a result of that, I'm very proud to, to let you know today that we are excited about where we have, what we have presented and what we have gotten passed by County Council and City Council. At this time, I'm going to ask my colleague from the city, the Honorable Mr. Tamika Isaac Devine, the Mayor Pro Tem of City Council to come up and bring some remarks. Thank you very much. It is indeed an honor and privilege to be here and thank you so much uh, to Chairman Livingston, uh, Chairman of uh, the Committee, uh, Jackson and Ms. Teratio, thank you so much for your leadership and partnership on this uh, initiative. Thank you so much for being here. And this is really exciting. As Chip Jackson mentioned earlier, we have been working in tandem with the county um, to make sure that we were 
um, not only being able to pass something that will be effective for a development tool for our community, but also um, something that we all can stand behind, defend, and know and look back ten, five years from now, 10 years from now, and say, this was the day that we um, not only enhance what we have locally, but we change the tra trajectory on where we're going. Through our partnership, the City of Columbia and Richland County are working together to address the challenges to our property taxes that have withheld commercial development opportunities in our city and our county. We are, the home, uh, we are home to the most diverse, highly educated, young and growing population in the United States. However, our citizens and visitors have come to expect um, and have an increasing appetite for more affordable residential opportunities, increased variety of hotel and other uh, extended stay amenities, and more availability of restaurant and retail options. But because of the challenges that uh, Councilman Jackson mentioned, uh, we know that we have a demand for it, but it's not always economically feasible. Our community is vibrant and with a thriving art scene, walkable districts, our riverfront, and our entrepreneurship, strong entrepreneurship and long-term economic stability, we know that we are on the cusp of great things. And so we know that looking at our vacancy rates and our leasing uh, residential options and our commercial options, that the demand is there, but now we need a program that will help, coupled with that demand, help us see the development, um, as our colleague Councilman Rickman says, will put cranes in the sky. So today, this program is a step towards stimulating the development of new projects, exciting projects. Projects that not only will bring economic growth and development, but that will also bring jobs and that will make everyone look at the Columbia and Richland region as an opportunity uh, to bring their business and their quality of life to the next level. By creating new development opportunities on vacant and underutilized properties, we can create density and new quality of life offerings for Columbia and Richland County and generate additional tax revenues even after the 50% abatement. The mayor and council and chairman Livingston will talk about the details of the program, but I am here to tell you that as the members of city council, we have talked long and hard about what we can do and we have looked forward to working with the county on lots of things. This is just the first of many projects that we're able to work together on to really show um, not only is Columbia and Richland County uh, the place for people to live, work, and do business, but also an opportunity for us to, to show that not only can government and private business work together to create economic growth and development, but that our residents will certainly see an increase in the quality of life. So thank you so much for being here, and thank you to our representatives on the county for partnering with us on this, and we look forward to partnering with you on more efforts. And it is my pleasure to introduce um, the amazing um, mayor of the city of Columbia, Mayor Steve Benjamin. It's the first time Tamika's ever called me amazing, y'all. So uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, the, uh, it is an exciting day to be here, uh, to be here with, with so many of you that we've worked with uh, for um, such a long time on, on building uh, this city that we all uh, know and, and, and love. We've been doing it together, and this represents a significant step forward and opportunity uh, for us to continue to move the Midlands to where we know it to be. I'm excited to be here on behalf of the people of Columbia today uh, because this recognizes a, a, a landmark joint effort uh, with our, our, our county. And I can't um, uh, uh, tell you how excited I am about the, the, the leadership provided by um, Chairman Livingston, uh, Chairman uh, Jackson, uh, Councilwoman Terracio, and, and, the, re and the rest of, uh, of County Council. You know, this is not a state of 150 cities. This is a, a state of 46 counties. Um, most of the tools for economic development rest at the county and having a strong, healthy relationship that we've been able to develop here uh, to try and catalyze the type of development that we want to see here uh, in the Midlands, in Columbia, and, and Richland County. It's so, so uh, important. Uh, so this is us joining forces to get more cranes in the sky across this city. Some of you know the story. I've had lunch with some of you in the past week. I've spent time over the years with many of you uh, talking about the things that make this, this city unique. Uh, we are the home of our state capital for the entire country. We are 
the home of Fort Jackson. Victory starts here. We've trained the majority of the men and women and the greatest fighting force the world's ever seen for the U.S. Army right here in Columbia, South Carolina. We're home to a Carnegie Research One University and the University of South Carolina and several other colleges, universities, two historically black colleges in the, in the heart of our downtown, a wonderful healthcare infrastructure. All those wonderful contributors contributing billions to our local economy, but none of them on the tax rolls, uh, which means that the, the disproportionate share of that burden tends to fall on our businesses and the ability for great businesses, great economic development opportunities to perform and cash flow the way that we need them to, to be successful here has been inhibited. So this day, working with our friends at the county to facilitate the types of development that we want to see here in the city of Cranes in the Sky is a big day. So we're collaborating to jumpstart the type of development we want to see. We're seeing some great trends. According to Smart Asset, Columbia is one of the few cities in the country over the last two years. We've been in the top five where millennials are choosing to come and live. Our community is vibrant with a thriving art scene, walkable districts, uh, a thriving and beautiful riverfront where 10 of my mayor's fellows will be kayaking later today without me, I might add. Um, strong entrepreneurship and long-term economic stability. Uh, we have long acknowledged a pent-up demand for hotels, retail businesses, workforce housing, office space and, and, and parking, expanded convention center in this beautiful facility that Bill and his team have stewarded the last several years, he and Sammy and, and, and the crew here. Uh, so in response, our two governments have come together on a measured and responsive uh, solution. We're grateful to be working alongside, again, Richardson County Council on this critical endeavor, and this new program is going to stimulate the type of commercial development that we want to see and lead to new investments in public infrastructure here uh, in Columbia and Richland County. Uh, the program is going to focus on, uh, on projects that uh, exceed $30 million in investment. Taxable investment incorporate a, a component of public infrastructure as part of the project. The program is going to reward investors who build public infrastructure. Uh, this includes structured parking uh, to roadways, uh, pedestrian crossings, and other real property improvements that benefit the general public. Uh, the incentive is capped, and though the chairman is going to talk more about this, capped at 50 percent of the company's tax payments, and there's a renewable limit of 10 years on the uh, incentive. Uh, it's important to recognize that even with the 50 percent tax abatement, uh, that taxes that will be paid for each project represent a significant increase uh, over what's been um, uh, generated on vacant or, or uh, probably that's laid fallow for a number of years. It's a, it's a, it's a big deal and uh, we believe a significant step forward. So thank you all, each and every one of you, for being here. Uh, we're, we're the policymakers. You guys are the deal makers. All right, so you guys are out there. You see opportunities as you travel across the region, as you travel across the country, indeed across the world every single day. It's our job to create the environment for capital investment to land, but to be treated well and to watch it grow. Uh, we need you all to continue to bring us the great deals uh, to make this community as vibrant as we know we want it to be. Uh, so thank you all for being here. It's my pleasure uh, to introduce the incredible um, chairman of county council. Um, Paul has been a, a, not just a steady hand uh, at Richland County, but across this region as a, as a consummate uh, a public sector leader, and we're thankful for his leadership. Chairman Paul Livingston. On behalf of the mayor and city council members, my colleagues, um, Mr. Racio and Mr. Jackson and others, the constituents of Richland County, businessmen, business women, um, friends, let me say welcome and thank you on behalf of Richland County Council. You know, this is indeed a great moment for our community. And it's generally about partnership and collaboration. Some of y'all may recall um, when I seek the chairmanship for County Council this year, one of my primary goals was to engage in more partnerships across our region. You may recall I wrote a long op-ed, referenced that point. This is an indication of that, just one uh, indication of that. And keep in mind, what we're about here today is we're talking about uh, a, 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 a policy, a criteria to grow our economy, improve our infrastructure, to create a fair and competitive opportunity for commercial development 
in our community. Why? To simply improve the quality of life for our citizens throughout Richland County. You know, in our county, we have huge parcels of land that have been sitting vacant for a long time, creating blight in our community, generating low or no tax revenue for our communities. We public servants are often told to operate like a business. Well, I think this policy allows us to operate like a business. You know, when business um, inventory piles up, get stacks on the shelves and so forth, warehouses are overcrowded, what do they do? You know, they reduce the prices and run a sale, right? So that's kind of what we're doing here with our uh, proposal. We create an opportunity for it to be feasible for those businesses to operate in our community. You know, for too long, there have been major, major uh, sites, for example, like the Klein property, Bull Street, the old ballpark. For 20 and 30 years, some of those properties have been vacant. We got to do something to make a difference. And we can. You know, we often complain about why aren't we, you know, generating the kind of revenue and development as Greenville and Charleston and Raleigh and so forth. It's because of these kind of obstacles that have prevented us from doing that. We have to change that if we're going to make a difference. You know, when I think back um, my early years on, on um, Richmond County Council, the difference was when we collaborated and worked together. You know, this facility we're in now would not be here had we not co collaborated and worked together. We wouldn't have this, a world-renowned zoo if we did not work together and collaborate. We wouldn't have our river lines. I can go on and on about the opportunities that we miss when we choose not to partner and collaborate. We must do that, we will do that, and we'll continue to do it on a large scale. You know, um, we have the offering, the offerings to be a great community. Um, some of the things Mayor Benjamin mentioned about our, our universities, you know, Fort Jackson, our rivers, and things of that particular nature. Let's, let's benefit from those things. County Council is working with the city to take these steps to propel our community forward. Together, we're taking measured, responsive steps to do so. All of us, leaders at the city and the county believe that this new program will lead to new investments in public infrastructure, which we all want. All of us are ready to welcome the new development that has been constrained and waiting for a long time. If, if you're considering a project, reach out to our economic development teams in either the city or the county. We are ready to work with you to make our region the best region it could possibly be. I want, I want to, again, thank you for coming and understand the significance of this great event. At this time, um, we, this was in the program. Uh, we will be around um, for media questions, or individual questions. But again, thank you so much for coming and thank you um, for your commitment to our community. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again. And remember, we are Columbia.